Hello everyone, welcome to GLOW Online Service. What does GLOW stand for? Save me! God's love overcomes. God's love overcomes and God's love never fails. God's love overcomes and God loves all of us. So now, we will start with our schedule for the service. Firstly, we will start with circle time, followed by worship, recap, storytelling, object lesson, craft work, then closing. So first up, circle time. I'm going to do a recap of what uh, teacher Lian actually teach last week. So firstly, prayer, and secondly, Bible. Firstly, prayer is talking to God. By talking to God, we can learn more about he, who He is and what plans He has for us. Prayer can be remembered with, a, with this acronym called CHAT. So firstly, C stands for Confession. Confessing our sins to God. H stands for Honouring Him in our prayers. Praising Him for who He is. A stands for Us. Asking God, what do you hope for or what do you need? And T stands for thank you, which is our gratitude before God. 1 John 5.14 says, Read it with me. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us, so we can have confidence in approaching God. Next, the Bible. The Bible is the Word of God. It was given to men from God to point us to Jesus Christ, our Saviour. God's Word is like a lamb, a light to guide us. Teacher Lian also reminded us to make a daily list from the importance of praying and reading the Bible. So, example, praying three times a day and reading the Bible for 30 minutes. Now, I'm going to cover the New Year resolutions that we went through. Remember that we went through it in the first uh, part of the year? Now, it's June already. <laughs> so it's halfway, we are halfway through 2021. This is a halfway check-in to help us to check in how are we doing in our goals. So firstly, we have our New Year resolutions that we can help to uh, complete or by doing our schedule and daily commitments. So how are you doing regarding all of them? Here are some questions to help you. But first, it's important to remember why are we doing it? But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things will be added to you. We want to be righteous before God. We want to honour Him. Hence, we are doing this, and this will bring people closer to God as well. So first question, looking at your New Year resolutions beside you, which resolution have you done or not done well? For instance, mine is loving my family better. Have I been loving my family better or have I not? Next, the schedule. Where are you spending your time? Where do you lose your way? What helped you achieve your schedule? So mine, for instance, helping to prepare dinner from 6pm to 7pm and 8pm to 9pm family bonding. Have I been following it? Where did I not complete it? And what helped me to complete it? Next is my daily commitments. So are these daily commitments still important to you? How do you feel towards them? For mine, I choose to honour my commitments includes honouring my family, helping to clean up after meals, the dishes, the trash, cleaning the floor, and greeting my parents. Are these still important to me? How do I feel towards doing them? Do I feel happy? So you see these two signs here, firstly, if you have done well, good job, but if not, do
Do not give up and keep trying. Remember why are you doing it as well? And this is from the memory verse. My memory verse is Colossians 3.20 Children, obey your parents in all things and this pleases the Lord. Remember that all three, your daily commitments, your schedule and your resolutions to submit to God. Share with your parents, your friends, your buddies as well as to pray to God, to submit it to God because God listens your prayer and will help you. Remember, this is not an easy journey, but Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. So God can strengthen you to do what you set out to do. Now is the time for prayer. Pray with me. One, two, three. Dear God, you are the above all God who is in control. Your love overcomes. You are bigger than any virus, challenges, and we thank you for your protection. Jesus, we thank you for being Emmanuel, God with us. We ask that you continue to help us to grow in Christ, that we may live like you and for you. We submit our schedule, commitments, and resolutions in the new year to you. Help us to keep to it and submit it to you. Give us the wisdom and courage to share you with others. Praying in Jesus' name, Amen. Now I'll pass the time to Teacher Su Yi for worship. Thank you. Thank you, Winfred, for circle time. Now let's worship the Lord. Today we are going to sing three songs. First, Jesus Reign. Second, Everybody Gets Walking. And lastly, This So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Let's start with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, today we come before you with thanksgiving. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And he has risen from the grave. We are excited to worship you for you are great and worthy to be praised. May you delight in our praises as we lift up our voice and our hearts to you. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen.
Next, I'll pass on the time to Auntie Violet for a time of recap. Thank you, Teacher C and Teacher Winfred for a great time of worship. Yes, it's always feeling so good to give thanks to our Lord. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus and to rest upon His promise. For God is love. God loves us so much, He holds us in His hand, never letting go. God is love. God loves us so much that He gave us His only Son to die for the forgiveness of our sin. And God bless us. God's blessing is abundance. So much, so much to give thanks for. 10,000 reasons and more to give thanks and to praise our Lord. It's so sweet to trust in our Lord and take Him at His word in the Bible. The Bible is God's words to us. It helps us to live in a way that pleases God. It's important to read and understand what is written in the Bible. Remember Teacher Winifred says, spend 30 minutes a day to read the Bible two times to understand what is written in the Bible. Choices. In life, every day we are faced with many choices. From the simple choice of how should we spend our pocket money? Should I spend it on the bubble tea? The packet of chips, which is so yummy? Or should I get a healthy sandwich, which will build my body? Or should I spend my time playing computer games? Or should I keep to my daily schedule and my commitment? All this, we need to make a choice. To make a choice, which is the right choice, which is the wrong choice? How do we make a choice? Who is to help us? We can pray to God and ask God to speak to us. We can pray to the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us to do the right thing, the right choice. So everybody, everywhere, we will have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus because Jesus is the light. Jesus is like a compass that's going to guide us to the right direction so that we can be a follower of Jesus. What is a follower of Jesus? By following Jesus, we get to know Jesus. We understand his character and know his character we know His love for us and we appreciate that love for us. And we know the sacrifices that He made for us and we are thankful. To be a follower of Jesus, we trust Him, we love Him, we give Him all our heart and we live like Him to glorify Him and glorify God in heaven. Jesus reigns. Yes, everywhere, everywhere people say Jesus reigns because Jesus is the King of Kings and victory always belongs to Jesus. Jesus even conquered death. Now, let's do a quick recap of the last service. In the last service, we talked about the Beatitudes. What are the Beatitudes? The Beatitudes are way that we can be an attitude that we can have to live in God's way and to be blessed by God. Bless, when we are blessed, we feel happy and we feel joyful. We learned in the last story, Moses killed the Egyptian out of anger. Anger can make us make the wrong choice. So we also learn from Teacher Wei Ling in the fiscal service about the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is God's rule for us to live in His way. And the number six of the Ten Commandments says, do not kill people. And out of anger, Moses looked right, Moses looked left, but he did not look up to seek God. So we always have to look up and seek God in a challenging situation. 
Do not give in to anger. Do not let anger blind our eyes and make the wrong decision. Always pray to God. Pray to God for wisdom, to be humble and gentle, to rely on God so that we will make the right choices. The memory verse that we did last week from Matthew 5 verse 5. Shall we say this verse together? 1, 2, 3. Matthew 5 verse 5. Blessed are those who do not show off but think of others first. They shall be given the earth. Matthew 5 verse 5. We've come to the end of recap. I pass over the time to Teacher Clara for a time of storytelling. Over to you, Teacher Clara. Thank you, Auntie Violet. So now we are moving on to storytelling. So for storytelling today, we'll be continuing the Beatitudes Part 3B. So you can find the story in your Bible. So please take out your Bibles now and flip to Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 12. So you may pause the video here to read through the verses. And after you have finished, I'll be going through with you the story to help you understand better. So are you ready? Let's begin. Hello everyone. So you remember what happened during storytelling last service? So we learned that how Moses acted on his own anger in the beginning and did not rely on God. And he escaped to Midian. So, we are going to watch a short video to find out what happened after he escaped to Midian. And after that, I will continue telling you the story. So, let's watch this video. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses. Hey Moses was an Israelite boy born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians. But God had a special plan for Moses. Oh, where? And he spent his childhood in the palace of the Pharaoh. You see, when Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh -oh. Pharaoh found out what Moses had done, and he tried to have Moses killed. Ah! So Moses ran away from Egypt. He stopped in the land of Midian, ah. and seven sisters came to the well to give water to their father's flock. Some shepherds came to drive them away, hey, you. but Moses stood up for the women. Hey. Hey, now these sisters were the daughters of the Midianite priest named Jethro. When Jethro heard what Moses did for his daughters, he sent for Moses. So Moses came to live among the Midianites, and he married Zipporah, one of Jethro's daughters. Huh? Meanwhile, back in Egypt, the old pharaoh died, but he was replaced by a new pharaoh, who continued to treat the Israelites poorly. Oh, man. The Israelites cried out to God because of the terrible things that the Pharaoh made them do. God heard these people and knew it was time to act. So hope that you all like the video. So let's do a short recap on the video. So Moses lived in the desert Midian for many years. And he married a daughter of the prince of Midian there. And also had a son and worked as a shepherd. And meanwhile, after a long time, the king of Egypt died. And the Israelites who were in Egypt were forced to work very hard and they were suffering so they were crying for help and God heard their troubles and he cared for them so 
One day, Moses was leading the flock of sheep who were Jethro's sheep. So Jethro is the prince of Midian and his father-in-law. So he was leading this flock of sheep to the west side of the desert and brought them to Sinai, which is the mountain of God. And once they reached there, the angel of the Lord appeared in flames of fire coming out of a bush. So Moses saw this burning bush, but he realized that the bush kept burning and it was not burning up. So Moses was wondering why this bush was burning but not burning up. So he decided to go closer and see. So when Moses came closer to the bush, God called out to him. Moses, Moses. And Moses heard and replied, Here I am. Then God said to Moses, Do not come any closer. Take off your sandals. You are standing on holy ground. I am the God of your ancestors. I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. When Moses heard this, he covered his face because he was afraid to look at God. Then God continued to say, I have seen the troubles that my people have suffered in Egypt, and I have heard their cries. I have come down to save them from the Egyptians, who have made life hard for them. I will bring them out of that land. I will lead them to a good land with lots of room and where much hope grows. So now I am sending you to the king of Egypt. Go, bring my people out of Egypt. When Moses heard this, he said, But I am not a great man. Who am I to lead the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said to him, I will be with you. This will be proof that I am sending you. You will lead the people out of Egypt. Then all of you will worship me on this mountain. So my friends, what can we learn from this? So God teaches us to be meek, which is to be humble and gentle. So when God spoke to Moses, Moses was afraid that he is not good enough. But God assured Moses that he will be with him and for Moses to rely on God's strength and not his own strength. So we can also learn to rely on God and trust that He will be with us. So let's turn away from our proud ways and turn to God to trust and obey and see what His plans are and how we can bless others. For we learn that blessed are those who do not show off and think of others for they shall be given the earth. And that's the end of the story. So we have come to the end of the story. Hope that you all liked it. So, what can we learn from the Beatitudes Part 3b? So, point number one. God loves his people. So, when God found out that the Israelites were suffering in Egypt, he loved and cared for them and wanted to bring them out of their suffering. And point number two, we must be meek and rely on God's strength. So we learn from the story that to be meek means to be humble and gentle. So just like Moses, God told him to rely on God for strength and not his own strength. So let's learn from the story and learn to rely on God's strength. And point number three, God will always be with us. So like what God said in the story, He is uh, God, the God of Moses' ancestors. So God is the same God from the past, 
and now and forever. So he will always be with us. So when Moses shared that he was uh, was afraid, God assured him that he will be with him. So God will also be with us. So let's trust and obey and always find comfort in God's presence. So we have come to the end of storytelling and now we'll move on to object lesson. So now it's object lesson time. So for object lesson today, we'll be doing a skit. So in this skit, Teacher Siri and Auntie Violet will be joining me. So let's see what are we doing for this skit. Clara, you need to put on your mask. See, don't disturb me. I'm playing my game. But you need to put on your mask. See, see you see. But see, you, you see, I lost my to... game already. Go away. Yes, what's the problem? See, it's disturbing me. What I are you doing, trying see? to ask Clara to put on her mask. Hmm. She's not but my. She's so mean. Mm. I don't want to play with her anymore. Go away, I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. Clara, you got to wash your temper. You remember? God wants us to be meek and gentle and rely on Him. Look, you have frightened Siri away. <sighs> Hi, Clara. What are you doing? You look so bored. Hello, Auntie Violet. Yeah, seems like I have no one to play or talk to. Mmm, you remember how you chased Siri away the other day when you, what, sh you shouted at her? Oh, but she was disturbing me when I was playing my game. But have you thought about it the other way? Siri cares about you. She wants you to be protected against the COVID-19. So she wants you to put on your mask. But you have let your pride make you so angry that you shouted at her. So, shall we pray to God and ask God to help you to stay gentle and meek and to control your temper? Okay, how do we pray? Let's do it together. Dear God, please help Clara to control her pride that she will not let anger blind her eyes that cause her to behave in the wrong way. Holy Spirit, you guide her that she would behave in such a way that show the fruit of the Spirit and she can share God's love with others. Praying in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Oh, I remember the fruits of the Spirit. Yes. They are love, joy, peace, Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yes, self-control is very important, okay? And we need to be kind, gentle at all times. So, what should you do now? Hmm, maybe I should give Su a call? Yes, and I think you owe her an apology too, alright? Okay. Good girl. So I will give a C a call now. Hello. Hello, C. This is Clara. Uh, yes, Clara. Uh, I call you to say that I'm sorry that I lost my temper at you the other time. I did not show gentleness and self-control. Yeah, I know that you were being kind and caring to me by asking me to put on my mask. So, I've learned and I, I also prayed. So, you can also pray for me that I will learn about self-control and not lose my temper at you again. So, will you forgive me, Sui? Yes, I forgive you, Clara. And let's continue to pray for one another to grow the fruit of the Spirit. Okay, amen. Thank you, Sui. So when can we come out and play together? 
Yay! Okay, I miss playing with you too. So I will see you this Saturday. Okay, sure. See you. Okay, see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we have come to the end of the skit. So what can we learn from the skit? Point number one: We should be humble and gentle. Point number two: We can pray to God and rely on Him. And point number three. God will take care of us and show us His way. And now we are moving on to question and answer. So if you think the answer is one, you can show one finger. If you think the answer is two, you can show two fingers. Are you ready? Let's begin. Question A: Whose sheep did Moses help to take care of? Is it one, Jethro's sheep, or two? Jacob's sheep, and the answer is one. Jethro's sheep. Question B: Where did Moses lead the flock of the sheep to? Is it one into the woods or two Sinai, the mountain of God? And the answer is two Sinai, the mountain of God. You got it right. Question C: What did Moses see once he reached there? Is it one, a burning bush, or two, a waterfall? What is your answer? The answer is one, a burning bush. Question D: As Moses went closer to the bush, who started calling to him? Is your answer one, God, or two, Joseph? And the answer is one God. Question E: How did Moses respond when he realized that it was God? Is it one he covered his face, or two he ran away? What's your answer? And the answer is one he covered his face. Question F: What did God tell Moses? Is it one that he was angry with him, or two he had seen that the Israelites were suffering, and was sending Moses to deliver them? And the answer is two. Hope you got it right. Question G: When Moses was worried about his own strength, what did God say? Is it one you are good enough? Or two, I will be with you. And the answer is two, I will be with you. Good job, everyone, for answering all the questions. So, what is our takeaway? You may flip your worksheet to page three and write it down. Shall we say the takeaway together? Ready? One, two, three. God wants us to be humble and gentle, to rely on His strength rather than our own strength. We should pray for God's Spirit to teach us what He wants and to bless others. Okay, so we have come to the end of object lesson, and now we are moving on to craft work. Okay, so now it's craft work time. So for craft work today, we'll be doing the burning bush craft work. So what are the materials needed for this craft work? So you will need glue, and the template, and small squares. So you may refer to the step-by-step -step guide for the glow craft work, which you can find in your envelope. So now I'll be going through with you what are the steps. So for this craft work, your uh, step you need to paste the small squares to the template, just like how you see in the picture. And oh, you are done! So don't forget to take a picture of your beautiful craft work and send to Auntie Violet so that we can all see your beautiful craft work. Okay, so what is our memory verse? 
Let's flip to page 4 and write it down together. Shall we say it together? Ready? 1, 2, 3. Matthew 5 verse 5. Blessed are those who do not show off, but think of others first. They shall be given the earth. Good job everyone for completing the craft work. So now we are moving on to closing. So over to you Auntie Violet. Thank you Teacher Clara for the interesting story, object lesson and craft. I can't wait to receive your masterpiece. Let's do the closing now. Mm. Every day we are faced with many choices. Decision to make Don't worry We can always have a chat with God Talk to God Prayer is talking to God And get God to help you Ask And God will listen He never fails to bend down to listen to your prayer Chat with God And get the Holy Spirit to guide you these are the masterpieces. Thank you parents for taking the time to do the craft with your children. The teachers must be beaming, smiling, happy to see them. Thank you. The sing-along for today is God Will Make A Way. In whatever circumstances, in whatever situation, God will make a way. Enjoy the song. Ways 
God will make a way when it seems there is no way. God always has a way. And God is with you, with me, with all of us. What a blessed assurance. The be attitude once again. Are ways that we can be and attitudes that we can have to live life in God's way. To be blessed by God. Never, never let anger blind your eyes to make the wrong decision. Always pray. Look up and pray to God. Pray for God's wisdom, to be humble and gentle, to rely on God. We learned from the story just now from Teacher Clara that the people of Israel live a hard life under the Egyptians and Moses heard God speaking to him through the burning bush imagine a burning bush speaking to you and God told Moses that he was standing on holy ground and he must remove his shoes and Moses obeyed he covered his face and knelt down from Exodus 3 verse 9 this is what is in the Bible. I have heard the cries of the people of Israel. I have seen the way the Egyptians have made life hard for them. So now I am sending you to the king of Egypt. Go, bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Exodus 3 verse 9. So God is saying to Moses, Go, Bring my people out of Egypt. Moses had God has a big job for Moses to do. Moses was worried. He didn't think he was good enough for the job that God was giving him. No, no, no. Perhaps not. Moses must be thinking. God said, I will be with you. This is the assurance that God gave Moses. So, in a situation like that, we have to pray. We pray to trust and obey God, to be humble and gentle, and to rely on God. By faith, we trust in God. God will make a way. The way that God has told Moses, I will be with you. Go and take my people out of Egypt. So the memory verse from Matthew 5, 5 says, Blessed are those who do not show off but think of others first. They shall be given the earth. At the count of three, let's come together and say this prayer. One, two, three. Three. Dear Lord, thank you for loving us so much that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins that give us everlasting life with you in heaven. Thank you for being with us even when we are sad or afraid. Dear Jesus, thank you for being the good shepherd who guide and protect us from sin. Please help us to trust and obey you in faith and to rely on you at all challenging times. Help us to grow the fruit of the Spirit, to have self-control, and stay humble and gentle at all times. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.
we need as many sowers as possible to help us share the gospel. Come join us. You can scan the QR code or this is the sign up link. Keep praying. Our next fiscal service will be on the 24th of July. We pray for God's protection to keep the COVID-19 at bay that we can all come together again in the fiscal service. 24th July. Mark that in your calendar. And friends, if you want to join our service, this is the sign up link and the QR code. Parents and caregivers, you can sign up on behalf of your children or your care. We've come to the end of the service. The next online service will be on the 18th of July. Stay safe. Bye-bye.